Hi, this is Justin from Tech 65 and today we are here at the Fujifilm X-Pro1 launch in Singapore. And today we have here the Fujifilm X-Pro1 with us here. This is how it looks like. It actually has an APS-C uh, sensor. However, it's actually a, an in-house APS-C X-Trans CMOS sensor. And this is how it actually looks like. And what's different about it is that it comes with the RGB pixels actually comes arranged in a six by six pixel set which gives a pretty much a 36 pixel per set with a high period periodicity a periodicity what that means is it's random right and this degree of randomness actually eliminates a lot of the fundamental causes of moray and false co colors you know and mores are essentially those uh, repeating patterns that you you see like some you know uh, lighting problems or some some color problems with that so with this extra seymour sensor it actually solves a lot of those problems and removes the low optical low pass filters which allows of course a higher resolution to actually take for all these different photos. Next, of course, when the Fujifilm X-Pro1 actually comes out, they it will come with three different lenses, or rather separately, sold separately, definitely, but it will come with three different lenses on launch called the XF18mm uh, f2.0 lens, the 35mm f1.4 uh, lens, and the XF 60mm f2.4 lens. And next, uh, Fujifilm actually introduced a new mounting system called the X-Mount, which essentially maximizes the lens performance with a short flange back distance of just 17.7mm. What this means is that the lens elements are actually closer to the sensor, allowing uh, reducing the uh, back focus uh, distance of each lens and actually achieving higher resolution all the way to the edges of the image. Fujifilm has also introduced the hybrid multi-view finder which first actually appeared in the X100 and of course it's available here in the X Pro 1 as you can see over here. What the ability is actually to switch between the optical viewfinder and the electronic viewfinder. So when you actually change the lenses, it will uh, when you zoom or change the different lenses to zoom lens, it actually automatically switches to EVF so that you can actually have all that other uh, information that you have when you switch to the electronic viewfinder. There is also an option to actually manually switch between the optical viewfinder and the electronic viewfinder uh, using this uh, uh, knob over here which you can just press and it will automatically switch. With the Fujifilm X-Pro1, it actually introduces also some of the uh, film simulation modes like the professional color negative films as you can see over here. And uh, of course, it also adds more uh, uh, simulation modes. For example, like uh, the vibrant colors of Velvia, you know, S tier, softer skin tones of S tier, and Provia, and so on and so forth, right? And of course, it also has that monochrome expression with uh, color filters and whatnot, which actually allows you to replicate the filters effects of monochrome film photography. So the Fujifilm X Pro One actually comes with uh, a few premium accessories, which are sold separately. It it comes with the hand grip, uh, the shoe mount flash over here, and uh, le the leather case over here that you can see, and of course the lenses and several filters that you can see over here. Okay, and so that's it for the Fujifilm X Pro One. It's coming to Singapore in March 2012 at a suggested retail price just for the body at $2,400. And of course, each of the lenses would range between $900 Singapore dollars to $1,000 Singapore dollars. And that's it for the Fujifilm X Pro One. Thank you very much for watching.